All right, everyone. Today I'm going to show you a utility from the command line that can be used to simplify and make backing up your data more efficient. So today we're going to look at rsync. And rsync can be a very daunting, powerful, and robust command line utility. But we're going to try and make it as simple as possible. And even for the novices or the new users out there, we're in, we are going to go into the terminal but it should be nothing scary or nothing as in-depth as logging in as root. So really, if you want to follow along, that's fine. Just go ahead and we can uh, get into it. So when you're doing a backup, there are two ways to go about backing up your data. The first way and the more inefficient way of backing up your data is to do a full um, deletion and erasure of your data. So what I mean is that I have my iPhoto library. And this is on my main hard drive right now, and this is my iPhoto library. And if I take, say, 10 or 20 pictures, and I want to back that up, the old way that I used to do it, the inefficient way, was that I would delete the iPhoto library on my external hard drive, and then I would drag the iPhoto library from my hard drive, and let's just do that. Let's just delete stuff. So what I would normally do before is I would take the iPhoto library on my external hard drive, delete it, and then what I would do is that from my hard drive when I want to back up, I would copy, bring it over, and I would have to back up or recopy like 43 or 45 gigabytes of photos. When in fact, all I did was all I did was add maybe 10 or 20 pictures from the night before. So this is a really inefficient way of backing up. So what we want to do, the more elegant solution, is to only take the, the changes or to only do an incremental backup of changes that have occurred in your iPhoto library. So we're going to kind of simplify this a bit more. And what I did is uh, I took some, um, I took some uh, music from my iTunes library and I just copied some of that off onto my desktop and what I want to do is uh, we're gonna copy this over to my external hard drive and we're gonna do that using the rsync command so over here what we want to do and this is the very same command that can be used over and over again and this is only one command that you're gonna have to enter to make this work so the syntax is going to be rsync dash dash progress and this will give us a progress indicator as to what files are being copied over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete. And delete, what delete does is that um, it makes sure that it doesn't copy over um, files that you don't want to copy over. And we'll get into that in about a minute. So it's going to be rsync progress delete dash a, which means a stands for archive. And this switch will replicate the directory structure and replicate all the the date fields and all the file types and it's going to keep everything as intact as possible when you create or when you create the backup of the data you're copying so that's the a switch and e stands for extended attributes and that's something that was introduced in, in mac os 10 tiger is extended attributes so what we're going to do now is we're gonna take this folder so we wanna back up source music so we'll drag source music, source music straight from the desktop onto the command prompt and what we wanna do is we wanna back up source music into my 160 gigabyte hard drive so all we gotta do is drag the hard drive icon over to the terminal press enter and as you can see it's copying the files from my desktop onto my external hard drive. And there weren't that many files in there, so it's already done. Now, what we want to do next is let's say we go into our source music. And let's say we don't want to listen to BT anymore. So let's delete all of BT's music from our source music and hit delete. So now what now what's going to go on? Well, we want to do another backup of source music. So we want to back this up, but we want to make sure that 
we're only keeping Vanessa Carlton stuff and, we, and we're doing away with BT. So again, we would just basically repeat the same steps as before. And just to show you that source music copied over to um, to the other hard drive, it's Vanessa Carlton and BT. So anyways, we want to just copy over the changes. And to do that again, it's rsync dash ae delete and show some progress indicators. And again, we want to copy from source music onto our 160 gig hard drive, press enter, and as you can see, the two directories are synced up with each other, and now we only have Vanessa Carlton that we wanted to get backed up. And we could go even further. Let's say we want to delete this song here. So we'll delete that. And we'll just go straight up again, press enter, and Vanessa Carlton only has three files now on the external hard drive, and source music only has three files there. So as you can see, rsync is a really efficient way to do incremental backups. It only records the changes from one directory to the other directory. So when you delete stuff, when you add stuff, it's all, it doesn't need to recopy the entire directory. It's only going to copy over the changes that have been made between the two directories, and that's what you're going to be left with. So that's just a quick overview of incremental backups using rsync. And um, yeah, hopefully that works for you. All right, that's about it. Peace.